Hi everyone, in today's session, I will guide you through the hardware model module in ServiceNow. By the end of this session, you will understand what a hardware model is and how to create one. Before we dive in into the ServiceNow platform, I want to take a few minutes to explain what a hardware model is and how it relates to an asset. So a hardware model is a record used to store product specific information for an asset similarly to a product record in a catalog. In this, information is stored at the model level rather than the asset level because it is common across all assets of that model. This means that when you create an asset under a specific model, you won't need to re-enter details like the manufacturer, model number or description as these values remain consistent. Storing these attributes at the model level also simplifies updates, allowing changes to the description or other product specification details to be made through a single record. Hardware model also aggregate all related assets, configuration item, vendor catalog item, product catalog item, which is used when creating asset record. Example attributes stored at hardware model level is manufacturer, model category, model number, weight, description, etc. Think of a hardware model as a template used in an asset creation, storing information that remain constant. Also, the relationship between a hardware model and a an hardware asset is a one to many relationship meaning you can have multiple hardware asset for any given hardware model. On the screen, you can visually observe the relationship between these two distinct type of records. Please note that to create a hardware asset in ServiceNow, you must select a hardware model in the system. Now that I have explained what hardware model are, we will proceed to create one in ServiceNow. Now that we are in service now, please note this demo version is on Vancouver release. If you are not using a personal developer instance and instead using your organization service now instance, you will need the model underscore manager role assigned to your user account to access the hardware model module. Now click on the application navigator and type hardware model. Now Click on the hardware model module. You will now see a list displaying all out of the box hardware model records. Now we will click on new button. A blank hardware model form will load. As we create this hardware model, I will explain what each field means. So you have an understanding of all different attributes. So the first one is display name. This field automatically displays value from the manufacturer and the model number field. Creating a concatenated name, this is particularly useful when viewing hardware models in a list or a report. Just below the display name, we have the manufacturer and the name field. The manufacturer stores the name of the model manufacturer. For this example, I will type Apple. In the name field, you should enter a description of the model. For this example, I will type in MacBook Pro 14 inch workstation. On this form, you will find six different tabs, starting with the first one labeled general, where you will find fields for general information. The first field is Short description, this is used to summarize the model. For example, I will, I will, I will input MacBook Pro 14 workstation. Moving to the next is model category, where you can specify the hardware category. In this case, I will select computer. Since MacBook Pro workstation is a computer, it is important to note that category selection here influences the creation of configuration item. 
further elaboration on this topic will be covered in the model category session later in this course now comes asset tracking strategy here you can determine how asset associated with the hardware model are tracked by default its leave to category is chosen meaning that the asset class will be defined by the associated category which in this case would be hardware if you opt for create consumable assets the asset class will be set to consumables don't worry if you are unfamiliar with the consumables we will dive into them in a later session later if you select don't create asset user won't be able to generate asset for this particular hardware model this option provide useful for tracking specific hardware model in the system even if there are no corresponding asset on so for now i will leave it to the category now now comes the useful life this is the number of the months that the hardware model can be used for so let's suppose it's its 5 years i will put the number of the month as 60 now comes the asset tracking unit for now i will select it as an individual unit you can also go ahead and select it as a fixed asset next comes the acquisition method here you can specify how you have obtained the asset for the specific model whether it is through the outright purchase or through the lease i will select the outright purchase now comes the cost here you indicate the price of the hardware model and select the currency for example i will i, I will i will make the price of this hardware as 700 dollars now comes the depreciation here you can define the depreciation value for the hardware asset associated with this model within this field you will find selection of variable schemes spanning from double dip declining balance to straight line for this workstation i will opt for the straight line method over 5 years since workstation typically depreciate fully after 5 years of use now comes salvage value here you have the opportunity to specify the worth of any associated asset once they have reached full depreciation i will input here Seventy dollars, as an example, it is important to recognize that the value entered here plays a crucial role in calculating the depreciation value of an asset in the subsequent field. Now comes the comment section. This allows you to input any notes regarding the hardware model. For instance, in this example, I would input: This is our preferred work station. now moving to the field situation situated in the top right of this form we will see the model number here you will input the part number or the stock keeping unit commonly known as sku in this instance i will enter a2442 as it represents the official model number of the specific asset now comes the barcode tab this serves to record the barcode associated with the model in this example i will input a sequence of random digit it's worth noting that the barcode plays a crucial role in identifying and tracking the model within the service now hardware model system now comes the owner tab here you can designate a user within the system who is responsible for owning and managing this particular type of asset within your organization this field is commonly utilized if there are it managers or decision maker accountable for this model for demo purpose i will assign this to my name now comes the status This field is utilized for monitoring the status of the model. Options included is build in production, retired or sold. So I will select in production. Now comes the expenditure type. This serves to specify whether the asset created against this model are acquired as a capital expense or an operational expense. Such information holds significance for members of the finance team. 
as it impacts financial reporting and accounting procedures. Now, in the last field of this tab, we find certified. This checkbox enables you to indicate whether the model has been approved for use or not. Now we move to the next tab information. Here we encounter field pertaining to power consumption, sound emission, weight, dimension of the model. These fields are very beneficial for various purposes. For instance, if your organization frequently ship assets, storing dimension and weight here can be useful. Similarly, if you are concerned about tracking the sound level of a particular model to ensure it complies with the sound regulation, this field provides a convenient place to record such information. For now, I will keep all this option as a blank. Now we move to the compatible tab. This is the tab. You can see there are embedded lists within this tab. Any compatible model will be displayed here. To specify a compatible model, you can simply click on the add compatible button. Compatible models are models that are compatible with each other. For example, since this model is an Apple workstation, I could add all compatible hard drive models or RAM models to this model. This feature is great as you can rely on the system to remind you what hardware is compatible with one another. This is useful when replacing components with an asset. Now moving to the next is substitute. This is similar to the compatible tab, but on this list, you can specify what model can be used as substitute. To add a sub substitute, you can click on add substitution button. Now we will move to the configuration item tab. When you generate asset using the hardware model, any relevant configuration items will be automatically shown here. Now we move to the product catalog. Within this tab, you can specify the content that will appear on the service and product catalog, which end users can view. It is important to note that the information set here will only show up if you decide to publish the model to the product or service catalog. If you intend to publish a hardware model to the product catalog, you can do so after creating the initial hardware model record. So for an example, I will add few information of this laptop. Now to save this hardware model, simply click on the submit button located at the top right of the corner. Now you will notice that the hardware model is available in the list. This concludes the session on hardware model. Wish you a very happy weekend in advance. Looking forward to catching up with you next week through my upcoming post on demo on hardware asset. Thank you.